What's up guys, my name's Brandon and the public beta of iOS 15 was just recently released. So that means that a lot of new people are going to be updating without really thinking twice about the bugs or just the potential downsides of installing a beta software on their main device. So in this video, I wanted to show you guys how to safely downgrade from iOS 15 beta back down to the latest version of iOS 14. And the reason you may want to do this is because iOS 15 is still in its early beta stages. So you are going to run into issues. You may have applications that crash and just don't work on iOS 15. You may have issues with your cell connectivity, your battery, just a lot of issues I've heard from making videos here on YouTube and seeing your guys' feedback. I see a lot of people having issues on iOS 15. So if you downloaded iOS 15, you got to try out the new features, you're kind of satisfied in that sense but you want to go back to a more stable release you know where you don't have to worry about your battery draining or having issues or not being able to use your banking applications I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade without losing any data all right so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing I want you guys to do is go into your settings go to your iCloud go to iCloud right here and then I want you guys to go to iCloud backup and make a backup right before doing this it does not matter if it's on ios 15 or ios 14 i will show you guys how to you know handle that later on in this video but make a backup and of course make sure everything is checked off right here as well just in case you happen to lose your data it's not likely but if something goes wrong at least you will have that backup to rely on and get your data back. And then after doing that, I want you guys to go back into settings and go to general and then down to reset and go to reset all settings and make sure that you're pressing on reset all settings, not erase all content in settings. So reset all settings right there and then put in your passcode, confirm that you want to reset all settings, reset all settings, and then you will see the Apple logo and it should not take very long. Now, the reason we're doing this is because some of the iOS 15 settings cause issues with things like the app store and with widgets when you go back to iOS 14. So you should do this first, just so you don't encounter any of those issues after you downgrade. All right, and so when we come back, you will notice that we have the default wallpaper put back on. We don't have a passcode. It just reset all of our settings, but you still have all of your data and everything like that. Again, this is just to mitigate any issues that may arise after you downgrade so now I want you guys to get a computer and plug your iPhone or iPad into the computer and now on your computer you will see your iPhone show up so if you're on a Mac it will show up in finder and if you're on a Windows computer it will show up in iTunes and make sure you do press on trust as well on the computer all right so now we need to go to our computer and go to ipsw.me this is going to be where we download the latest version of iOS 14 this is how we're going to manually downgrade our iPhone or iPad so from here you're just gonna go ahead and click on iPhone you're gonna select your iPhone so for example I'm using the iPhone iPhone 11 for this tutorial so I'm going to select iPhone 11 right here then up top you will see the latest signed version of iOS 14 so right now it's iOS 14.6 but it might be a you know later version in the future so just go ahead and download whatever has a green check mark next to it right here so I'm going to click on that you can see it's almost a six gigabyte download so a pretty large download this is you know the full restore image so I'm going to go ahead and click on the blue download button right there and it will begin downloading you can go ahead and X out of your internet browser now while we're waiting on that to download i would recommend doing a backup to your computer of your iphone as well just to have a secondary backup so for example you can see me here on the mac inside of finder under backups you want to back up all of your data on your iphone to this mac so you can encrypt it as well if you want to and just go ahead and click on backup now just while we're waiting on that to download and while you're waiting on those two things to finish on your computer i want you guys to go back into your iphone right here and reconnect to your wi-fi because we will need to disable find my iphone so go ahead and reconnect to the wi-fi because we did reset the settings and now let's go up to the top right here where it shows your name and then you will see find my right here go ahead and tap on find my find my iPhone and toggle that off and you will need to enter in your password and you can see there it's turning off find my iPhone and there we go done very quick you do need to make sure that is disabled before going through this process all right so our download has finished and our backup has finished so now what we want to do is go into the finder window on a Mac or on a Windows computer you want to go into iTunes and locate the restore iPhone button so from here you want to option click or shift click on restore iPhone so I'm on a Mac so I'm going to press on option and then press on restore iPhone and it's going to give you this menu right here where you select the file that you just downloaded so you can see right here this is the IPSW file that I just downloaded I'm just going to go ahead and press on open 
and it's going to say that's going to erase and restore your iPhone to 14.6. Go ahead and press on restore just like so. Then it will begin extracting the software and then restoring your device back to iOS 14. And your iPhone screen will turn black and you will see screens like this. And then you will get the Apple logo with a progress bar underneath. Just be patient, this could take some time. All right, so as you can see, our device has successfully downgraded back to iOS 14. So now we are going to be on the initial setup screen. And from here, I would recommend keeping your iPhone plugged in because we still do have one last step on the computer so you want to make sure you're still plugged in and we're just going to run through the initial setup process just like you first got your phone so we're going to set up manually we're going to connect to our wi-fi and things like that so let's just go ahead and run through this very quick and once you get to this screen right here where it asks you if you want to restore from a backup we're not going to do that because we're going to do this manually so just go ahead and select don't transfer apps and data right there and then go ahead and sign into your apple id or you could just go ahead and skip this for now so you can set this up later in settings if you want to and as you can see we are back on ios 14 so if we go into our settings general about you can see we are back on ios 14 after just being on ios 15 but the thing you're going to notice is that we don't have our data we do not have our applications that we just had we're not going to have our text messages our photos any of that so this is where we need to go back to the computer so we can restore from that backup that we just made back when we were on ios 15. so now i want you guys to go back into your computer and i want you guys to go to finder if you're on a mac or to itunes if you are on a windows computer and you will see you have this iphone right here we're just going to set this up as a new device we're not going to restore from a backup right away so just go ahead and set up as a new device and now if we go down you can see that we have manage backups right here and if we click on manage backups you will see that we have the backup that we just created you can see mine was at 5 44 p.m but there was also one at 5 18 p.m which i did just before downgrading to ios 14. so this is the one that you want to select so select the one that you just made and if you hover over it it will say software version 15.0 so what you want to do is right click on that and show in finder and it's going to take you to this folder right here go ahead inside of that folder and then go all the way down to the very bottom and you will see info.plist i want you guys to open this in a text editor or in xcode now if you're on a windows computer i will have the location of your backups in the description down below it will be different of course from a mac so be sure to reference the description to find where this file is located on a windows computer but if you're on a mac again use a text editor or xcode to modify this file so i'm just going to use text edit and you can see it pulls this up right here and from here you want to search this document for product version so i'm going to go ahead and press command f and I'm going to search for product version. I'm just gonna type it out just like this, and you will see down here, it pulls up product version. And from here, we're going to replace 15.0 we're just gonna backspace on that 15 to make it 14, and that's it. So now under product version, it just says 14.0 instead of 15.0. And we're going to command S to save that, and then X out of it. And now we're going to be able to back up from that device backup that used to be 15.0, but now it's going to be working on iOS 14. And now we can just press on OK. And now we want to go to restore backup. And from here, you want to select the one that you just modified. So for example, mine was the one at 5 18 p.m. and I want to go ahead and restore from that specific backup and now it should work and you can see on the iPhone it says restore in progress once the restore process has begun so this process could take you know as long as hours if you have a lot of data or as little as like a minute if you only have a small amount of data so the length of time that this takes depends on how much data you are restoring back to this iphone and you will also see the progress bar on your computer as well so for example on the mac you can see right over here on the left hand side it shows it's about halfway through the restore process so you can kind of keep an eye on that if you want to know how much time is remaining in your restore all right and when you see the apple logo on your screen that means that you are rebooting and all of your data has successfully transferred over so at this point you can go ahead and unplug your phone from the computer and you are done with the computer everything else will just take place on the iphone itself and nothing really needs to take place because you're going to have all of your data back so we'll be back once this finishes up all right so now we're back to this screen right here let's go ahead and swipe up 
and enter in our passcode. And you can see it said restore completed. Apps and data will continue downloading in the background. Go and tap on continue. And now you might want to go ahead and log in to your Apple ID. And we're just going to run through a few of these settings right here. And we should be back to our home screen just like so. And you will see that everything is back to how it was when we were on iOS 15. So you're going to see that all of your apps that you had before will start downloading. You will notice that all of your photos, your text messages, everything is back and fully restored here on iOS 14.6. So if we go into our settings, general about, you can see we are on 14.6 and we have all of our information that we had on iOS 15 back on iOS 14. And if you guys are running into any issues with like the app store or with widgets or just anything at all, you might want to go into your settings, go to general and then down to reset and do another one of these reset all settings, not reset all content and settings, but just a reset all settings that could fix some issues that you may be encountering with the app store or other applications, but everything should run pretty smooth. And that is how you successfully downgrade without losing any data from iOS 15 beta back to iOS 14. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, I would appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you subscribe for a lot more iOS 15 content coming very, very soon. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.